How's it going, everybody? Do you all remember this? It's the Glastron. Yes, part seven. It's been a while since we filmed anything on this and I wanted to give everybody a quick update on where we are. As we dive into it, you can still see part of the carburetor and we've got the two cycle oil still down there. And we also have the pump for, for it down there. And one of the things that I've been doing while planning this next project here is trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that two cycle oil system. Thought about deleting it and just mixing, right? The two cycle oil permanently with the fuel every time you go to fill up. I thought about doing that and some people said, why, why do that? Just use the system. And I may go ahead and do that. Now that little pump down at the bottom, I priced that one out because as you can see, it doesn't look like it's got very much life left into it. Price that out. I think it's around two, 300 bucks. And I'm debating on getting another one of those or I may just test it. But you know, being out in the water and finding out that thing dies or throws an alarm is uh, kind of problematic. Let's jump in here real quick and take a look. Now, when we left off on this, we were just putting in the ignition system. And let me show you where, where we uh, made all those updates. You can see down here, there's not a lot of wiring um, left because it just goes right through there. But I left it down here so you can kind of see how I spliced it together. And I did test it and I had to get a new key. And it turns out that this is an OMC key, which I think is just basically like a generic key, but I'm pretty sure if I needed to, I could probably duplicate this ignition here. So either way, I did test it. The battery is disconnected right now and it, um, it did turn over. So we know the key is good. Let's just flip it over real quick so you can see and get it in here. There we go. Yeah, so it's a good match. It's just, you know, like I said here, we've got a lot of wires. I know I've got some of my subscribers that have glass runs, and I'm sure when they see this, they freak out. And part of it, I think the prior owner, you call me crazy, right? But isn't that wiring for your um, trailer? So I, I think they spliced in some of that. And then you got some of this business here. Like, what's that all about? And then, you know, that... Uh, fuel filler neck is going to get replaced as well but there's a lot here and take a look at that transom isn't that transom really nasty one of the other things that i wanted to show you is the effect of varnish on the fuel tank that was in here i think you saw me pull it out earlier and it was sitting right where all these uh, needles are and it was pretty bad we actually tried to clean it and salvage it and turns out that fuel tank is definitely not going to be salvageable. Take a look here. Kind of have it tilted on its side so you can all see it. Take a look at that right there. See those holes? What I ended up trying to do was I put a little bit of acid, 50-50. Got it from Home Depot. Nothing crazy. And my goal was to try to clean the varnish out here. And you can see it ate holes, right? The varnish did. And it's kind of like that all the way down. And what I was thinking about doing was taking some similar uh, aluminum and then just TIG welding it down. And I talked to some of my uh, boat colleagues and they said, yeah, you may patch it, right? You may make, you know, patch these up, but do you really want to seal this thing under the floor in its current condition with some patch jobs on it and hope like heck that it, it doesn't leak and, uh, we had a boat explosion over the weekend from uh, fumes and it just got me thinking more and more and saying, now I think I'm just going to go with a, a different style uh, fuel tank altogether. So you can see this one is designed to sit under the floor. Let's pivot back in here. It would sit right there. I think what we're going to end up doing when we put the floor back in and I have the marine plywood for it already, so it's not going to be a problem, but I'm pretty sure we're going to tuck it the new fuel cell. We'll probably tuck it right under there and maybe put a secondary one over there as well 
but I don't imagine that we're gonna be able to get the same capacity one that we have underneath. I just don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna go ahead and put a cell probably somewhere in the corner. My goal is I wanna be able to just pull this thing up next to a, a fuel pump and then just be able to reach in here and, and fill it up. Now I know it's not much harder, right? To go back here, unscrew this and do all that. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. But I just wanna give you a quick update. You can see this thing for most people is in quite the disarray. Let me talk a little bit too about what we're gonna do up front because there were seats up front here, right? But any kind of normal adult, I, I actually sat around up here for a little bit thinking about it. No normal adult can sit up here, there's just no way. And then you can see that's where the, uh, the hook would go. So if you need to fasten it right down here where the eye goes, I can see leaving that exposed because if you ever rip it off, you know, you want to be able to get in there and repair it. But as far as the seats are concerned, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take an entire sheet of marine gray plywood and I'm going to cover this entire piece and not make basically where there's seats here, right? This would be one seat that goes down and you put your legs here and then another seat that goes down here, put legs there and then maybe someone here, right? And then they can sit. I mean, there's just no way other than three kids maybe to put that much effort into it. So what I'm gonna do is just put one sheet of marine gray plywood across and then we'll put a, a pedestal in the middle and then basically you'll be able to fish off the front of it. Tell me what you think about that idea. I just, I can't imagine putting that much effort into building seats and everything up here. It's just too much work. Just don't think it's worth it. In terms of carpet ideas and things like that, I don't think I'm gonna to be moving in that direction. Probably just gonna leave it uh, bare. And here's, here's what we're left with so far. And I guess, I mean, that's all that's really left is in terms of the demo is just this little section up front in terms of removing old wood here for the stringers. You can see, this one's actually not that bad, but that's pretty common, right? In any kind of boat demo and rebuild, your best wood is probably always gonna be at the front because it sits the most highest, right, on your trailer. So, not surprising, but if you remember from the other videos, the marine grade wood was pretty bad. I mean, you can see here, right? And take a look how soft this is. I mean, that's terrible. And if that's what's holding your, your boat, you know, the people in your boat up, that's no good. So anyway, that's where we are with the uh, glass drawn. I know it looks pretty bad, but if you see my other videos, this is nothing that we can't handle well within uh, our capabilities here. Um, this was kind of new to me too. This is, um, I guess this is what mates up with that Yamaha 115 in the back. And I was looking up kits on how to get this thing repaired. And they said, you know what? You can actually buy a whole new one of these guys here, little control units. And I said, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. So I'm probably gonna buy a just a brand new um, control unit. If that's what we refer to these as. But as far as the gauges and everything, um, I believe these should still be all right but we'll have to test them, you know. And uh, yeah, that's where we are. So hope you liked the video, stay tuned. We're gonna do more work on this uh, moving forward. You just need to get a vacuum cleaner in here and just start doing minor, minor work. But all in all, I think the biggest thing we're gonna need to do is get that Yamaha 115 off, probably uh, rebuild that transom in the back, put some brand new marine gray plywood, and then figure out what we're gonna do with these wires here, the oil system, the controls here i'm thinking maybe about another thousand or two into this thing and we'll get it back in the water and it'll be stronger than ever so anyway stay tuned hope you liked the video as always hit that subscribe button like the video if you thought it was helpful and we will catch you on the next episode have a good one everybody take it easy